Because I'm happy to see her, but I'm still angry. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not happy because I'm not, I really feel genuine emotions. I can't lie. I'm exactly. not happy I had to just display such emotion on TV like that for nothing. Right. I feel you, man. Guys, at this point, I feel like Nini just needs to shut up because she don't spoil all the things where we don't they anticipate. Either they use talk talk, they spoil everything. Wait till they are. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha. I'm so glad to have you guys here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed watching it, okay? All right guys, so in the last video, I told you guys and showed you guys how Nini stepped back into Biggie's house and all of that. And I told you guys and also showed you guys, you know, um, Saga's reaction when he saw her first and all of that. I mean, he was excited, but then he also had questions. He was upset. He had a lot of emotions just really running through the guy and to be honest is very very normal okay now a lot of people were actually waiting to see the reaction of the rest of the housemates because again they all searched the house yesterday you know just really looking for her and i told you guys particularly that cross was you know looking for nini in the ceiling you know around the jacuzzi inside soccer where they open all those things say they find nini and all of that they open duvet they raise the bed and all of that so there was really no way nini could have been in that house and you know they would not see her so of course as expected yes saga tried to have a conversation with her you know shortly after i had posted that video and all and she kept on saying oh no 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 i was in the house i was in the house and all of that now as much as saga did not believe her saga just let it slide because again he's just too excited to see her and he just doesn't want to have another round of quarrels with her and all besides he already knows it's a game so he might as well just play along and all of that yeah cool now it was morning time for workout and all of that and of course nini came out right and in my opinion I do not think that they were even excited to see her you know they did not have that much excitement just like we expected and all of that the only person that had such excitement that actually seemed very genuine and you know very real was cross you know cross was like oh my god Nini where have you been carried girl hug him you know peck up say oh my god Nini <laughs> At some point, he started even counting days of the week. Practically, this guy was counting how many days to the end of the show because he's had enough. Like, he cannot even take it anymore. So for him, he's like, okay, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 10 days more. I'm just like, guy, relax. Not only you want me to show finish. So just chill out. You know, because that thing kind of had a toll on him and all. But, you know, Nini just kept on going on and on and on, trying to convince the housemates. Guys, Biggie had instructed Nini to feign ignorance. Okay, big enough say come and be explaining to us. We don't need to believe you like it is not your cup of tea Whether the housemates believe you or not just feign ignorance for me I expected that what Nini would have done was just give them the silent treatment because the more she keeps silent The more it's messing with their mind the more they have questions to ask and bear in mind These questions can never or will never be answered if she chooses to keep quiet But this girl just decided to start explaining to everybody or oh, how she was in the blue room or oh, how she heard this person having this conversation or oh, how they were saying this in the garden or oh, how they were behaving in the arena blah 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 i'm like madam you are going out of point okay you are, you are going out of context i'm not sure biggie asked you to do all this one which one is i saw you when you were doing this i saw you when you were doing that how do you suddenly become the all-knowing the all-seeing nini you they see everything and you say you did blue room throughout but you don't move from the blue room oh, but you they see everything what happened for garden madam now oh why are you going to do like this why are you going to do like this? Now, the joke is on her because the rest of the housemates are just like, Nini, it's fine. You've already played with our emotional, whatever, whatever. It's okay. You know, Likoros was not even having it. Likoros is like, what do you mean by you were here? We searched for you there. Okay, how come when Biggie called you for diary session, why didn't you come out? He said, hey, I went now. I was there. Okay, how come when I said, guys, brief, you did not come out? He said, no, I came. <sighs> Not be everybody that's supposed to give acting role because some people go just spoil them. You are telling us that we are blind and we are deaf. I don't we're know. We are so blind and deaf that I read the brief and they understood what the brief said and we could see our mess to wear them but we couldn't see you. I don't know why. See,
see, there's a saying that when you talk too much, there's a chance that, you know, people will fish you out as a liar. And that's exactly what has played out with Nini. Like, you did not have to keep explaining and explaining and explaining. Like, the more you're trying to convince the housemates that you were in the house, the more you're just, you know, selling yourself out because, again, it's like, does this girl think we're stupid and all of that? The only person she practically was able to convince in that house was Cross. And that's also because Cross... <laughs> See, Cross, just leave Cross butter. Do you understand? And I feel like that's the only person she would have been able to convince with this her tactic of, you know, trying to explain herself, trying to say, oh, you said this, you said that, you said that. The only part I kind of supported her when she said it and just the way she said it was when she came at White Money. Guys, let's take our minds back. You guys will know that. Nini keeps calling White Money my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. You know, that one to go to my daughter, my daughter, and my daughter, my Peking. Now, yesterday, when Biggie say, okay, well, you guys have 20 minutes to look for this girl. If you do not find any within the next 20 minutes and all of that you know you guys should go on ahead pack her things and move it to the storeroom guys in our room is 20 minutes now white mother already say i beg let's just pack the girl's things to the storeroom she's nowhere to be found i think she's a fake housemate blah 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 like one would have expected white money to even have more patience you know be willing to search as for white money now when tell us say in beloved personified where they serve people where they do this one where they do that one you should have even been the one in front of the whole search and everything oh my daughter is missing you no know? even if you know it's a prank and all of that just active for us we go collect and like that you know search for her be worried and all of that you just search more say eh, bless her she be fake house me i bet more pack her things and that kind of caused the problem between white money and cross because cross was like no don't say that again she's not a fake house man how can i say needs a fake house man? like cross to keep p yesterday cross to keep p like this thing messed up with cross big time and obviously right now yeah perez sees nini as someone that is stupid because how come you're just going about explaining things and perez even said it there to her like this acting is so bad like it doesn't even make sense because you know it, it, it doesn't make sense even to me it doesn't so how much more the housemates that were stressing themselves looking for you up and down you're not telling them i was in the blue room i beg i beg just keep quiet sometimes you shouldn't be i was here yeah I, I didn't, nah, 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 and you know she has come back without her voice nah, 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 i was here nah, 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 nah. be like alarm town cry i just didn't make noise i was there i was there i was there as in Mm -mm, this one never enter and i'm just really waiting to see what biggie has to say i mean she deserves her reward and all of that because yes she carried out the first task and all of that but this second task mm -mm, nini not really the do and wear you know she don't cast herself in my opinion she don't cast let me know what you think okay because right now the housemates are not even interested like whatever the cocoa is that you are here you are here let's just move past it and all of that so just let me know what you guys think yeah now before i end this video let me quickly point out something because i saw a comment or two from my last video someone saying oh is it that you guys did not see where nini saga and pere had a conversation what other apology are you guys expecting saga to give pere and all of that they've had a conversation they've talked about it and all guys let's not do that okay never ever replace explanations with an apology when you need to explain yourself please do that and when there's they need to apologize even after your explanation please go ahead to do it the fact that nini saga and perez sat down to have a conversation doesn't excuse the conversation saga and nini had about the guy i'm not saying everything they said about perez was out of place yes perez instigated a lot of things you know during the early days of the show and all of that we cannot excuse that but you know this guy is your friend you sat down there said he was suicidal he was lonely he was dead. Billy just decided to show Sarah what it meant and how it actually felt to be a suicidal person or just to be lonely and all of that all those words used to describe Perez were actually the things they exhibited yesterday this guy felt like he was going to die he was lonely you know nothing could even console him and all of that so there's no need to now say oh they sat down to have a conversation then you know that's it no no you should apologize there's no shame in that there's nothing wrong with you saying, oh, Pere, yes, this is what happened. This is how I said it. This is why I actually said it. But all in all, I'm sorry. Like, that would let everything go. The fact that Pere said, you know, he has let it go, you know, he's over it and all of that doesn't mean that Saga should now play on that and then refuse to apologize. There's nothing wrong with apologies, guys. Let's not have that mentality. That's the reason why you see a lot of people, they have small issues and the thing will drag for a very long time. It's not because, you know, they've not talked about it. Of course, they've talked about it. But it just might be that the other party still expects an apology and there's nothing wrong with that. I know say apology not going to make Pereira a fat or not going to make the boy short. But then you should apologize because, no, you betrayed your friendship. Like, guys, let's not even do that, okay? Let's, let's not do that. I don't even want to go into this whole... Mm -mm. That's all I came to say here, right? If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And I will definitely see you guys on the next one, okay?